What are you <clears throat> seeing in the self storage industry? I mean, overall nationwide, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. is the industry growing? Um, how has COVID affected self storage? Yeah, self storage is on a tear right now. I mean, if you look at the asset classes in in real estate, uh, no matter what stat you look at, in terms of you know which asset class has done well, of course I'm biased, but uh, the stats don't lie. Um, self storage and industrial are right up at the top. I think data centers may be up there as well. Um, industrial has done really well with uh, Amazon expanding and and the supporters of Amazon and the distribution centers that are now coming down to the smaller market size. And, and as, as we see, unfortunately, the slow death of retail, the, the industrial side and the industrial sector has benefited greatly. And self-storage, uh, because we are heading into a time where we're heading into a recession again, we also have seen uh, people come home from work and they had to clear out the dining room, the spare bedroom, uh, the spare family room or living room and create a, a workspace for one of the income earners and sometimes two. They also last year during the lockdown, you know, when everybody was sent home from school, uh, the colleges shut down and, and the kids had to put all their stuff into storage uh, again uh, until they were able to go back. The kids that were in uh, K through 12 came home and we also had to make room in our homes to do school at home as well. So clearing out more furniture to make all, all of that happen. And then unfortunately, there's a whole lot of businesses that immediately when, when the lockdown started, it just went under because, you know, customers, <laughs> go figure, are the lifeblood of their business. And if they couldn't do it online... Uh, they went under. And so their inventory, uh, machinery and uh, furniture, business furniture went into storage. And so, you know, we see this was somewhat of a microcosm of what we see during a recession and self-storage really benefits during a recession uh, because businesses downsize and put their things in storage. Individuals downsize during a recession. They may have to move in with somebody else, a, a friend or move back home. And so their extra stuff goes into storage. And so we it, we storage traditionally has always done better. We, you know, we go up to the right during good times. People buy more stuff and they store more stuff. That's the nature of what we do here in this country. And if that's you on behalf of the industry, I thank you for that mentality in this country. Uh, but during a, a recession, you know, we get the hockey stick effect. And, and that's when banks slow down, development slows down of all sorts. And then demand for self-storage goes up. And so that's what we saw during the pandemic last year. And uh, 2020 was an absolute banner year for our industry. Um, we have been we have been contactless and touchless since before it was cool to be contactless and touchless uh, using kiosks to rent a unit much like a kiosk because self-storage, uh, you know, uh, renting a unit is a very low labor intensive transaction that can be done uh, over the internet. And um, it can be done by way of a cell phone, uh, access to our facility, our software, getting a gate code and even a key fob and access on the phone to access a unit um, can all be done by way of a smartphone as well. So uh, Jay, we don't, we don't celebrate recessions um, personally, nor my company. We don't celebrate pandemics uh, for gosh sakes, but our, our industry, I'm, I'm thankful for the industry that we're in because uh, we have benefited with a huge wind in our sale, um, not only during a recession as we're going to head into again, but then uh, the pandemic, which kind of accelerated that has really benefited our industry. Mm -hmm.